This is the Fememo D30 label maker. They went ahead and sent this to me, so let's take a look at it. So for starters, here's what we got inside the packaging. We're gonna have the label maker itself, and there's gonna be some other stuff underneath. Right here, we're gonna have the user manual. And all the way at the bottom is gonna be this uh, micro USB to USB-A cable. I also did receive these two packagings, and this is gonna be the paper itself. And now right here, we're gonna have the label maker. This is gonna be the white model, and so far I just see there's gonna be one button in the middle. There's also gonna be like an LED light here, and a screen right in the center with this plastic film that comes right off. And I can go ahead and lift this, and there already is some paper that comes included in here. And then on top, this is where the label uh, shoots out from. And there's gonna be nothing on this side, nothing on this side, and at the back side, we're just gonna have one strap for a lanyard if you wanna go ahead and put it, and then also the charging port. So it's now time to set this up, and the first thing to do is just to open up the cover, and then take this piece out, and then we can just go ahead and get to the black part and just open it up, and this can be removed. And now with the sticker facing towards the left side, this is gonna be inserted like this, and this can be pulled right up through here, and then close the cover. And now hold the button for three seconds to go ahead and turn it on. And there, it detected the paper, so now it's green. And then I can press it one more time. And it's going to go ahead and detect the position of the label. So there we can see it went ahead and adjusted, so one label is fully out. And now if I want to, I can go ahead and tear this out by pulling it upwards, just like so. And now that that's done, it's time to go ahead and download the app. So here's the interface we get for the app, so I can go ahead and auto-connect. I'll go ahead and allow Bluetooth. And now it's searching for the printer. So it says make sure the printer, oh, okay, it found the printer and now it's connecting. And now a device connected and there you go, it went ahead and started printing. And then here I can go ahead and just add a nickname. So in this case, I'll just put my name, Chris. And I can go ahead and press print. And it prints it out immediately. And even my cat's getting curious, he's coming over here to take a look at it. And there, that was actually pretty easy. It says print successfully. Great, let's explore more ways to play together. Uh, I can go back to the home page or I can learn more. Oh, I don't want him to bite that. And here, here's how it went ahead and turned out. It says, hi, Chris. So now let me go back to the home page. And here it takes me to a whole nother interface. So there's gonna be a lot here to go through. So tap here to connect to your printer. I'll click next. Here we have light mode, simple and clean or creation mode, plenty of functions. I'll click next. Scan, swipe to quickly match label printer, next. And there it is, so let me see what light mode looks like. Okay, so here I can have the paper type. So it's gonna be the cut label, which is gonna be what we have just because these are, labels are gonna be cut. Or another option is the continuous label, which uh, it's not currently there, so I'll just put it back to cut there. And then here, that's pretty cool. We can also get different options if it's white, double lined, uh, white, double row. In this case, it's gonna be just white. And then the sizes can also be changed. In this case, the 12 by 40 millimeters is going to be the right size. And I know that just because on the label itself, with the little sticker, it says spec 12 millimeters by 40 millimeters. And I'll make sure white is selected. And then I can go ahead and click the check mark. And then here I can enter whatever content I want. And here it says uh, the number of copies and then print label. So I got it. Now let me go back and see what the creation mode gives me. Ah, uh, yeah. So here there's a lot more options to do. Here I can put text, icons, a border, a picture, the time, a barcode, a QR code, or a line. And what I want to try doing is a picture. All right, there. So I clicked the picture of my cat, Tiger, and it went black and white. And now this is going to be the original size, which, of course, it can't print in a little size like this. So I have to go ahead and press label size. And there, it alters it. And, of course, I can go ahead and adjust it. So if I want a different position shown, I can go ahead and have that print. In this case, I want to go ahead and print his eyes. And when I let go there, just that'll go ahead and show up. And let's see at the bottom, there's also different options. Uh, I can go ahead and cancel this completely. Uh, I can cut it, which I already did, uh, or I can change the filter. So right here, this is gonna be standard. There's also 256 grayscale. Oh, that looks a little bit uh, less uh, distorted. And there's also gonna be black and white. Oh yeah, that's, that's far too much. So let me go, actually, let me go for the standard. It looks kind of pixelated. It kind of reminds me a little bit more of art. So I'll check that. And there. And over here I can kind of adjust it where I want it to be printed. And to increase the size of this, I can go ahead and drag this a little bit more. So I want it to take up like the whole printable space of the label. 
And just like that, and I'll go ahead and press print label, and then I'll print now. All right, and there it is, and this actually looks really cool. The quality actually looks pretty nice, and here you can see how I try to center it, uh, but it's not perfectly centered, but that's okay. I can kind of mess with that a little bit more. But yeah, I'm pretty happy how this turned out. And let me see what else this can go ahead and do. So I'll go ahead and go back. I'll click the X to completely get rid of that. And now let's see what kind of icons are available. Okay, so we have like some emojis. There's going to be festival, clothing, home appliance, skincare, food, figure, mother and son, animal, plant, learning, Transportation, sports, symbol, tool, and sign. Oh, there's one more. It's going to be alphanumeric. Wow, that's, yeah, that's a lot of different options we have here. So let me go to animal. Let me see if it has. Oh, yeah, there's still a lot more options available here. I can keep scrolling and scrolling. Yeah, there's a ton. And let me see if I can find a cat. Oh, I found a cat here. And I can increase the size of this. There, and I can also double tap. And type tiger. Tiger the cat. And of course, because uh, this is kind of blocking it, I can go ahead and adjust it. Just like that. And let's see what else I can do. I can also put the time. Okay, yeah, I can put the time down over here if I want. I'll exit out of that. There can be a barcode, QR code, a line. And there's actually even more stuff on the right side. So it says shape, XL, scan, table, uh, QCR, and a voice recording. How does this work? All right, I'll allow. Hello, this is Tiger. So the voice recording worked well, and here I can have it as text, a barcode, or a QR code. And here it kind of shows up. Let me go ahead and exit out of that. And yeah, that's everything I could do there. And I can also mess with the label settings again. And then uh, I'll go ahead and print this as well too. And then print. And there it is. I was able to make Tiger the cat with that little emoji. I was able to go ahead and use a picture, and then the first one, just text. Overall, using this was real easy. I'm actually impressed in how good the quality also is for this. Uh, prints really easy. It was very simple to go ahead and connect it to my phone, and there's a lot more you can go ahead and do with it. But yeah, overall, if you're looking for a label printer that's really versatile, definitely check this one out.